Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Matthews. I'm here at Montclair State University in the Exercise Science Lab to show you how to use a strap-based heart rate monitor. So this is the type of heart rate monitor that's going to have a strap going across the lower chest and it essentially uses the electrical activity of the heart in order to estimate how many beats per minute the heart is doing. So we're going to be using a Polar T31 type heart rate monitor. The other chest strap type monitors are going to work very similar to this. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the heart rate monitor, the, the hard part of the strap. So the strap is two parts, a hard part and an elastic adjustable uh, part. All right, so you're going to take that hard part and you're going to find the two electrodes in that strap. All right, so then you need to do something to wet those two electrodes. So you can run it under underwater and then immediately slap it onto the chest. Um, the issue with that is the water tends to run off and it might dry before you actually get the person exercising and sweating so that it will uh, conduct the electricity. And so the other way of doing it is to apply some sort of conducting gel. And that's what I'm going to be doing here in this video. I just have a little bit of ultrasound gel that does a nice job of conducting electricity. And we're just going to put a little dollop on a paper towel and wipe it onto the two electrodes on the strap. Once the strap is uh, sufficiently uh, wet so it can, uh, can conduct the electricity from your skin, you're going to attach one side of the elastic part of the strap to that hard part of the strap um, by just uh, putting the, uh, the hard plastic piece into the hole on the hard part of the strap and making sure that it's, uh, you're doing it in a way where once it's sort of clipped into place where it's flush and not going to have any jagged edges or um, anything protruding that's going to irritate the skin. Alright, so you're going to do that, then you're going to put it onto the chest of the individual. Um, so you need to put it just below the, the pectoral muscles or just below the breasts uh, on the individual. And so this is going to require the person to typically remove their shirt or at least lift it high um, so you can access their lower chest. All right, so for a female, when they, they're going to have a sports bra on, typically what you're going to do is just sort of fold up the bottom of the strap of that sports bra, and that's usually where the strap of the heart rate monitor needs to go. All right, so for a male, you, you're just going to, again, look for the bottom of the chest or the bottom of the sternum, uh, essentially, and put the strap there. So some people are going to have uh, a little bit of a concave shape to their chest, and if that is a very extreme uh, concave shape, you might have to move the strap a little bit up or a little bit down to avoid that gap that's going to be created between the uh, heart rate strap and the chest itself. All right, so just make sure that you have the electrodes applied to the chest so that they're directly in contact with the skin. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that strap around the person and uh, connect it to the other side of the hard part of the heart rate monitor strap. All right, so you're going to do it just like you did on the, the first side. And then what you're going to do is make sure that the strap is tight enough. So you want it tight enough where it's not going to shift and move around when the person is moving and exercising, but not so tight that it makes it difficult to breathe or is just uncomfortable for the participant. All right, so the straps are adjustable so they can go longer or shorter um, if you move the sort of elastic part of the, the belt um, back and forth across the little buckle. Once you get it attached to the person uh, appropriately, Again, make sure that there's some sort of moisture between the conducting part of the strap and the skin. Then you can uh, test to make sure that it's working by holding the heart rate monitor watch or whatever is receiving the signal uh, as close to the strap as possible and hitting the button to initiate the searching uh, for the signal. All right, so for these polar heart rate watches that we're going to be using here, you simply just push and hold the red button and that's going to cause it to search for a heart rate signal. Um, so it'll take a few seconds to receive the signal and to um, start giving you values. All right, so I recommend if you're going to use these heart rate monitor watches, if you have access to more than one, to use more than one at a time, especially if you're doing some sort of research study or if you're working in some sort of exercise clinic where the heart rates are super important, um, having only one watch, sometimes they'll, uh, stop they'll stop receiving the signal. So having a couple or two or three of these watches is going to prevent you from losing the signal because uh, at least one of them is probably going to maintain the signal throughout the entire test. At this point, you can go ahead and have the person exercise or do whatever type of testing you're going to do where you're going to be using the heart rate monitor to measure heart rate. Okay, so when you're all done using the heart rate monitor, just make sure that you remove it from the person and they don't accidentally walk away with it. and that you clean the heart rate monitor thoroughly. So just take it off the individual, wipe it down with paper towels to get rid of any sweat or residual gel, 
and then take alcohol swabs and clean anything that was in direct contact with the individual. All right, so that's a really quick overview on how to use one of these heart rate monitor straps. Um, and they're, they're pretty simple to use, but also very, very handy. So I definitely recommend um, investing in one of these if you're going to be measuring heart rate on a regular basis. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, you can put those in the comment section below, and I'll try to get back to you on those. Otherwise, please come back and watch another video. Thanks.